Hi, it's Steve from FX Pedal Planet here. Uh, thanks for joining us tonight. We've got Mark Eric from Stonefly FX, and he's come along to tell us about his wonderful guitar effects and about his musical influences and everything else. Please say hello, Mark. Hi, guys. Uh, and uh, thanks, Steve. Uh, thanks for, uh, for having me uh, with you. Yeah, you're so, welcome. Uh, you're welcome. Thanks very much for joining us. So, um, okay, so you've as it were with all the interviews, I send everybody a uh, sort of a draft of the questions and everything else, but also before that draft of questions and what it, before we get into the nitty gritty of the interview, um, every builder, every pedal builder has to do the quick fire 10 questions. Uh, some of them okay. are very tongue in cheek questions. It's just a little bit of fun and we won't hold you to any of the answers that you give. Um, so it's just a, little, just a little bit of fun. Uh, if you can just give me or give us your, the first thing that enters your head. Okay. So the first question is, delay or reverb? Delay. Boost or overdrive? Boost. Now, this next one is, it, it splits opinion, but please, whatever answer you give, we won't hold it against you. Clon Centaur, myth or legend? <laughs> uh, I I never tried it alone, so uh, legend. It, it's it's still in the legend realms. <laughs> Excellent. Next one is new pedal day or new amp day. Which one do you prefer? Oh, I think I would prefer a new amp day, but uh, a new pedal day is uh, a lot easier to make it make it happen. <laughs> okay, the next one again. It it, it divides opinion. Uh, the next one is Metal Zone, Classic, or Trash It? Trash It. Really? But, <laughs> but, but uh, I, heard, I heard some guys having a, a really decent song with one, so it, it just depends on, uh, on your taste and the way you use it. Absolutely, absolutely. Next one is Germanium or Silicon? Germanium. I'm with you on that one. Next one, just a few more to go, is fuzz before or after war? Before. All right. Okay. Uh, next. Here again, it, it, it may depend on... Uh, it, it does on depend, how, doesn't it? And, uh, what's the pedal uh, in front or uh, after? Absolutely. So. Next one is digital or analog? Analog. I'm the same. Last two. But true bypass or buffered, which is your preferred? I prefer uh, true bypass, but you need buffered pedals in your signal chain. So absolutely. And the last one. This is uh, not so not so difficult, and that's chorus or flanger. What's your favourite? Hmm. <laughs> uh, both both can be cool i don't know uh, uh yeah. flanger yeah I, I i like flanger it's a great effect great effect so well look thanks very much for for joining us um how's your week been so far is it, it's been busy for you uh sort of building pedals and things or it's been busy at work but uh in the in the pedal rims not so not so much I, I try to build uh, when I have time, and I'm not pressuring myself on uh, on any uh, quantity I need to uh, to build. Sure, excellent. And um, well, going back to um, when you first, I, I take it you, you you do actually play guitar. When did when did you actually start playing guitar, and what sort of music uh, w did you get into initially? Initially, I, I began to play a guitar when I was in a secondary school, but uh, I was uh, very, uh, very bad, and uh, it was uh, I. I really hated uh, to go to the to the music uh, lesson, and uh, it it was uh, stressful, and uh, and I, I would have loved to to play electric guitar, but uh, it was classical guitar, and. Uh, wasn't so much uh, appealing to me yeah so, 
So I really began to play an instrument, an, uh, an electrified instrument, when I was uh, like uh, 17, 18 years old. When, uh, when I went to the university, I bought a, ba a bass, a bass guitar. Yeah. And I began to play on it uh, on tune, and I, I, I learned it by myself. But uh, And eventually, I decided to move uh, and guitar excellent and uh so, so who, what sort of guitarists and music was it you actually listened to who you who were your favorite guitarists at the time my favorite uh guitarist at the time uh when i was young i, I was really into uh the doors uh so uh i, I was into uh, so uh, punk rock music so uh, when I was a teenager, the, the, there was a, a big uh, new punk wave go, going on with uh, bands like uh, NoFX, Good Riddance. So I was kind of a EP among the punk. And also I have a very good friend with older brothers that were listening to uh, AV Metal. Yeah, you know, uh, Metallica, Sepultura, uh, Pantera, uh, Rob Zombie and uh, stuff like that. So I discovered uh, many kinds of music when I was young. Mm -hmm. Also, there, there was the, 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 the big uh, uh, grunge era with uh, Nirvana, Soundgarden, and such bands. So, uh, yeah, I think, I think those were my, uh, my early influence. Excellent. It's only a bit later that I discovered the band like, uh, bands like Black Sabbath, uh, Jimi Hendrix, yeah. and uh, bands that I really went into uh, a lot. And, and uh, I'm still into uh, these days. Yeah, I, 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 all those bands of like the seventies, like Led Zeppelin. I'm, I'm still into them. They still fill my, uh, uh, they still fill my uh, playlist now. Do you know what I mean? I've been listening to them today while I've been working. It, they're just, it's just timeless, isn't it? Exactly. Absolutely timeless. Absolute uh, timeless classics. So, of those. If, is, have you got a sort of favorite piece of music that you that kind of stands out with the use of effects so for me uh i remember the first time i ever heard pink floyd and uh i was on holiday with with my parents and the day i bought a it was the pulse um album in the it was a it, in a double cassette tape version i remember putting it on in the car my mum and dad had gone shopping and they left me in the car to listen to this guitar music and uh dave david gilmore's guitar came over with all these effects on, on songs like sorrow and stuff like that and i was just blown away by the sound you know and the use of the effects and i was like that's it that's the guitar tone for me that's that's the ultimate um have you got any sort of recollections or favorite pieces of music yourself where effects were used it's sir that uh voodoo child slight return from uh, hendrix is a uh, is my absolute classic my absolute go-to you got the this fuzz this war this uh this, this catharsis going on uh, uh all the song and it's so powerful and uh and wild yeah it's a superb song isn't it Funny enough, a, a few people say that song. Um, I think it affects quite a few people in the same sort of way. It, it just, and there isn't a huge amount of effects on the song, is it? It's just, you know, uh, a war and, you know, I don't know, a fuzz and, you know, and, and that was it really. Um, so, so when, what was your first guitar effect that you had? Uh, I think the first effect I had was uh, an Ibanez uh, chorus. You know the the old blue one in metal. Uh, uh, I guess it was like uh, something from the eighties, and uh, I don't remember the the series exactly. But uh, and uh, about it goes uh, when I was in the in the, a, a guitar a guitar shop, I tried the bass, and the guy plugged plugged me into uh, a, a big a modular effect, and I thought it had the the, the tool sound. The tool vibe, but in the end, the chorus I bought uh, wasn't sounding like a tool uh, at all. Yeah. But uh, I had fun with it. Do you still have the pedal, or by no, any chance? I pulled it back uh, once. 
And uh, and what led what led you on to making guitar effects, or um, did you start modding guitar effects first? The 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 old story was with me with the, and the guitar pedals uh, goes to when I was young. I had a I had a, a, a friend who was playing a electric guitar, and uh, he was always dragging me into music stores. And uh, I, I wasn't into that. I was just following him, and uh, so he was trying uh, that guitar and that guitar. And uh, and I always look at the, at this little colored box in the uh, in the counter and. Uh, was asking him, hey, Martin, try this one, try this one. I wanted to, to hear them and uh, what this one uh, does. And uh, I, I, I kind of love the uh, the perspective of uh, how, how it, it, modi it modified the, the sounds uh, from uh, mm. from something uh, just plain regular to something like uh, crazy, fantastic. And uh, mm. so when it, when it started, uh, it's hard. It's hard to, to recall exactly, but I, it, I guess it's around the era and I began to play uh, electric bass. So I wanted to sound like uh, like one guy and one another. So I, I, be, I began to interest in uh, in uh, what what makes uh, Jimi Hendrix sound uh, like he was. Uh, what what was uh, the pedal behind uh, David Gilmour, uh, behind uh, Sid Barrett? Uh, what gear was he using, and uh, stuff like that. So. Uh, uh, I began to watch uh, demos on YouTube. You know, a Gearman dude. Mm. So uh, with Gearman dude, oh, I, I ordered. Uh, I discovered one pedal, and I, I needed to try that one. So I ordered it, tried it, and uh, by the time I tried many, I, I, fi I finally discovered uh, a few great ones, and uh, this made made me discover. Uh, uh, Differential audio manifestations, the, oh, yeah. the damp pedals made by David Main. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so I eventually went to the Dam Forum, and uh, at this place I met uh, other great uh, first connoisseur. So uh, from there uh, I discovered other thing, and uh, and uh, I learned uh, I learned more about guitar pedals. Mm. Well, so. Go on, sorry. It's a, it's a bit how uh, I went into uh, guitar effects. And uh, at, uh, at one point, I, when I was really younger, I had kind of a, a flash to why uh, I want to, to build a guitar pedals. So I ordered a kit on the net. It was a, a Foxtone machine clone with a PC board. So I ordered the parts and I had absolutely... Uh, no knowledge of, of that. I learned a few little things on the internet, but uh, at the end, the, the pedal worked. But the the, the fuzz like was like in a, a, a little a little a little fuzz in a, a big wall of sound surrounding it. Mm. It, it was really a, a crappy pedal. So it took me uh, many many years to uh, empower back this idea. And to answer the, the initial question, it's when I was on the uh, the dam forum that at some point uh, there was uh, germs. Do you know germs? It's a fast builder, great builder. He he had a, a custom run of uh, of, uh, of wedge and closer made, and he asked people around if they wanted to buy some. So at this point, I decide, oh, uh, uh, let's 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 uh, let's build a, let's build a fast. But my my idea wasn't just to build a, a, a standalone fuzz. No, I decided though no, uh, I want to uh, to have a, an art an artwork on my pedal. I want to have a, a logo. So so I, I kind of decided to, to to make a a, a real deal uh, to to, be, to begin with, with a real deal. So mm -hmm. I made some search. I found the original NKT uh, two thirteen the uh, that are almost unfi unfindable anymore these the days. And uh, I went for it. I I, uh, I hired uh, some, uh, I hired uh, David Paul Seymour to, uh, to create my logo, to create my first artwork. And uh, 
the idea behind is uh, let's, let's build uh, 12, 12 uh, bed house and uh, I will pay back the, these guys uh, with uh, the, with the, uh, the the profit I will make I will make with uh, selling day. So it, it's it's a bit how it it all started. Oh, wow, it's funny you say about the uh, the dam pedals because I remember years ago uh, me stumbling across dam pedals uh, via various different Google searches and. The stuff that Dave Main actually builds, it's its phenomenal. I always remember always wanting a, a damn a red rooster pedal. And yeah. it must have been about 10 years ago. And I thought, I've got to get myself a red rooster. And I think they're about £300 at the time. And I've seen them on various sites now. And they're about £600. <laughs> like, you know. Yeah, but, that's crazy how, how the price uh, went up. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but just fantastic pedals. Uh, I'll own myself a damn red rooster one day, definitely. That's for sure. So, uh, so you're all self-taught then, by the sounds of it. No sort of formal schooling, all sort of self-taught, and yeah, uh, exactly. Yeah. So, excellent. so we, each, each pedal is, is kind of a challenge. It's true that uh, uh, I'm doing I'm doing the Stone Five X thing. Yeah since uh, a couple of years now, but uh, each each pedal was, was kind of uh, uh, a challenge in itself. And I wanted to build the pedals that are, uh, you know, in, uh, not, a, not a standard way to build pedals. I want, wanted to make pedals that are beautiful outside and it's an inside. So, uh, yeah, each pedal is is sometime uh, I, there's a some learning curve into it, uh, de depending on uh, on what I, I decide to do and if it's a it's a new way to me or uh, or not. Yeah. So when so it was two years ago that you started Stonefly, is that right? No, I, I began in 2014. Ah, right. Okay. And where did the name Stone? Six, six, seven years. Yeah. And where did the name Stonefly come from? Oh, the, the name came uh, is coming from uh, uh, a band, uh, a French Canadian band that I really like. It's called uh, Gros Manet, and they made a song and they and they called it Stonefly. So uh, it's 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 a it's a, a big instrumental a stoner song with uh, like a, a, a country rock psychedelic vibe to it with with slide guitars and it, that's the only spoken word in the song Stone. Fly. So that that that's a bit that that's exactly where the name uh, the name is is coming. I'll have to check that. I've written it down. I'll have to check it out when uh, the interview's finished. Yeah, I, I, I wrote for for you. Um. So whereabouts are you actually uh, based? Where you're building pedals and where? Are you, who's buying your pedals? Oh, uh, I'm uh, people from everywhere in the world. I have a, a lot of customers in uh, in the states. I have customers in Australia, in uh, in UK, in uh, Germany, in Norway, in Japan. Uh, uh, pre pretty pretty much uh, everywhere. Wow, excellent! And, <laughs> and whereabouts in Canada you're based? Uh, uh, where I'm located? Where where yeah where where are you based? Uh, I'm uh, I'm in the in the on the south shore of Montreal, in uh, the in the small city. Yeah. Oh, very nice, very nice. Um, so, how do you go out go about actually designing a pedal? What's what's the process? The process it's uh, it's first to decide uh, to decide uh, what pedal I want to do. So, when when I build a pedal, uh, I'm uh, always putting myself as uh, as the the first end customer. What pedal do I want? <laughs> so, so that that's the the first uh, the first uh, engine of creation. So from there, I, I decide. Uh, I just, I, once the I, I pick the circuit, I like to uh, to do takes on uh, on old vintage uh, circuit, mostly fuzz. That that's mo mostly my uh, my uh, my drug. <laughs> so from there. Uh, I, de I decide the, the way I'm going to I'm going to build it. I began to shop uh, on parts. I, li I like to find uh, vintage uh, parts. Uh, 